Alrighty then, you can see I'm no longer lost in the Bermuda Triangle. Looks like I washed up on the shores of Cuba. And my hair is all slicked down because of the ocean. Now let's look at this cubic. x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6 equals 0. We mentioned this one in my first cubic formula video. It turns out that it's easily factored into x minus 1, x minus 2, and x minus 3. So we can see that the, the roots are x equals 1, 2, and 3. But the, the idea here is to use the cubic formula and see if we get the same answers. Of course we should, but it's complicated. Let's see what happens here. So if I plug A, B, sorry, B, C, and D into the formulas for E, F, and G, G turns out to be 2, fairly nice. F is 11 over 3, not so nice. And E is a big fat 0, really nice. So if I plug that into the cubic formula, I get x equals the cubed root of the square root of negative 1 over 27 plus the cubed root of the negative of the square root of negative 1 over 27 plus 2, which is going to turn out to be crucial. So what's this equal to? Well, let's do the cubed root first. The cubed root of 27 is 3. So the square root of 3 is the root of 3. So the magnitude of that is 1 over root 3. Same with this one. So to get the value using the Morgan's formula, it's going to be that times e to the i theta plus 2 pi n, where this is they're both divided by 3, sorry, I moved brackets there, which I forgot in the last video. But what's theta? Well, for this imaginary or complex number, it's going to be along the imaginary axis. So theta is 90 degrees. For this one, because of that minus sign, it's going to be down here, so negative 90 degrees. I've got to divide it by 3, and then I have to use the two other possibilities where n is 1 and 2, as I mentioned before. So I'm going to get, for this one, 30 degrees plus 120, 150 plus 120, 270. And for this one, I'm going to get negative 30, 90, and 210. So to, when I calculate the, the value here, let me just make some room. I'm going to get 1 over root 3 times... Three possibilities for the first one. So cos 30 degrees plus i sine 30 degrees. And the same thing with 150. And the same thing with 270. Plus three possibilities for This one goes negative 30 plus i sine negative 30 degrees. And then we're going to have 90 degrees and 210.
Don't forget the plus two. So there's three answers for the cubed root of the first term, three answers for the cubed root of the second term, and altogether that gives me nine cases. Because the first one here can be matched up with either one of those and so on. So of those nine, which three do we want? Well, let's find out. I've done all the dirty work. If I combine this one with this one, it turns out that x is equal to 1 over root 3 times root 3. If I combine this one with this one, turns out that x is equal to 1 over root 3 times negative 1 over root 3. And if I combine this one with this one, it turns out that x is equal to big fat 0. So this is 1, this is negative 1, and if I add 2, I'm going to get the three solutions. 1 plus 2 is 3. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. And 0 plus 2 is 2. Amazing. Now the other six are complex numbers. They have a real part and an imaginary part. Everything works out logically, but they're messy. And if you plug them into this formula one at a time, you'll see that you don't get 0. It's a lot of work. It's messy. But Give it a shot, at least do a couple of them. So this shows that the cubic formula is valid in this particular case. And of course, it's always valid. So let's head on back to Cuba and have a good time. See you next time. Bye-bye.